I saw images, uh, you know, from different church, and these images are very, very just beautiful. And this is something that I, when I was a kid, I always was in my mind, and I say, oh, wow, it's artists that there are great artists and. And yes, this is something that with the time I say, oh, it will be good to, to do something realistic or something like that uh, in my career. I like a lot of the realism. Uh, this is like my style. Uh, when I read the scripture of the different and the script of the, all the paintings, there are some words that are really very beautiful and they just, uh, is like get touched to your soul. I think the last one, the recent Jesus, was basically hard because uh, even I look up for many references, it's no one that showed me the the real picture of the picture that I want to to do. Uh, I even take some photos and I research different kind of lighting and I paint twice, maybe twice, or, yes, twice or maybe three times the same painting because I was not happy at the beginning and I tried to do with uh, conscience and to know that this is, uh, is something that, that, that must be a fake or must be getting in touch with the people that, that is the, the reason of Jesus. I really like the crucifixion. Uh, when I saw this picture, uh, when I finished this, I said, this is Jesus. This image is, uh, I hope and I wish as well that, that the, the children look to Jesus for the, for the values that they teach us, get into the, the feeling of, of, of good acting, good person, and also he suffered a lot for us, and also we need to uh, be conscious of that and try to use all this beautiful scripture to apply to us in, in our life. When I read the scripture, this is, is something that absolute, absolutely uh, you need to, or I, I get in touch with, with the, the feeling of how he suffered. Sometimes you don't, you don't know the, how he suffered for us through all this journey.